That's the first time that's ever happened. Not that it really matters, but usually I get ready and then press start the live video. Anyway, hello. Return again. Return again. Return to the land of your soul. Return again. Return again, return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are, return to what you are, return to where you are, born and reborn again, return again, return again, return to the Everybody, this is Rebecca Hart with The Chrysalis, episode 36, new for the new year. I know it is January 3rd, but over here we're still celebrating <laughs> slash preparing to deal with the change in the calendar. And um, just between you and me, I am on a break right now from a two-day bhakti yoga sacred devotional chanting and music workshop. Um, second day of two days, making this the first chrysalis ever to come to you from the astral plane never done um, bhakti before. It's a lot of kirtan singing, which is like really fun call and response devotional chanting in Sanskrit and English, which is my idea of a good time. And the people running it are these two musicians who play some of their own work, but also some um, very famous chants and songs, and we sing them and they mix them up with stories and jokes. And in the middle of it, I was like, I think this is what I do every Sunday. So Welcome to my Bhakti Yoga workshop. This is a chant I learned in the workshop. Um, it's a Jewish chant, actually, which makes me feel good because I wanted something for Hanukkah and I never found anything. Um, this was written by a famous rabbi named Shlomo Karlbach, known as the singing rabbi. He died in 94. Um, he tried to bring a little bit of kirtan, a little bit of bhakti to his services. Terry, this is a chant. Wake up, pay attention. Um, We'll get to more of it actually later. I guess that's the theme. Anyway, um, if you're Jewish and sometimes you feel that uh, you have like a little trouble relating to your Judaism like I do, it is a known fact that if you just say the name Shlomo Karlbach, you become 5% more Jewish. <clears throat> Everybody, return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. Your turn, sing it with me. Return again. Return again, return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are, return to what you are, return to where you are, born and reborn again. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. I really love seeing the numbers of people watching go down and they come back. I was like, Shlomo Karlbach, sacred chanting. Anyway, those numbers don't mean anything. That's enough of that. Hello for those of you just joining or watching later. My name is Rebecca Hart. This is a weekly series called The Chrysalis. This is the, this uh, every week we choose a theme. We bring you a variety of texts and songs upon that theme. This week the theme is new for the new year. Hi Scott, hi Terry, hi Phil, hi everyone who's watching. Um, happy freaking 2021. Um, my goal for this was to do all totally new work that I've never played before, um, but I really wanted to do this one. This is a song of mine that I think really fits, um, and it doesn't really have a title, so here we go. <laughs> to know that uh, when I set up for this my battery was dead and I went to Dwayne Reed and bought a new battery which if you're in my band or know me at all you know I don't like doing Terry more chants are coming trust me but my point was that every song is a chant anyway whatever I dream of waking up to find that nothing's broken that it's not my fault and I found my mind and it was just where I was hoping I dream of laughing with the friends who said no better and I don't need to change my mind or them or you and all the doors are
there's a price to pay And it is a shame to think the golden rule only applies one way Oh, I dream of walking out to know that we're all coping And we're all good and good enough to Um, using my Ethernet cable for the first time, feeling pretty good about this so far, no glitching. I was gonna have my whole new rig, because I got a new rig for the new year, um, set up for you, and that was gonna be part of the new thing, but I'm waiting on a couple of pieces. But you guys, it's just a metaphor for only good things that are coming in the new year. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't see any little hearts either, but maybe Facebook changed things up. Um, in the new year, we're gonna move to, to YouTube. I swear that's gonna happen. Anyway, moving on. This was a song, there's a file in my mind called Parts I Will Never Actually Play, um, and this is definitely one of them. But I woke up this morning being like, oh my God, how could I not have thought of this song? I have to learn it right now um, to play in this set. I think you will agree, you probably know it. If you don't, do. Oh yeah, hi David Ross, by the way, um, Still waiting on my niece and nephew to make me a beautiful Venmo sign, FYI. Would love to commission Oscar and Celia to make this sign, but for now, the tip jar is Venmo, Rebecca-Heart-5. You can pay me, PayPal me, Rebecca at RebeccaHeart.net, Ko-Fi, K-O-F-I dot com slash Rebecca Hart. I think it's pretty much how it works, or whatever, you know, mail me some cash, passenger pigeon, whatever you want to do. Um, why does passenger pigeon always make it into that speech? Um, yes, I'm here every week. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out with me. It is my favorite part of the week. Um, hope the sound is okay. Can't do much if it's not. Anyway, this song, I think you might also feel like this is exactly the right song to sing um, in 2021. And it goes like this. When I wake up in the afternoon, which it pleases me to do, don't nobody bring me no bad news. Cause I wake up already negative and I've wired up my fuse. So don't nobody bring me no bad news. 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 Don't nobody bring me no bad news. I'll make you an awful child that you cannot refuse. Don't nobody bring me no bad news. If we're gonna be buddies, better bone up on the rules. Don't nobody bring me no bad news Cause you can be the best of friends or wind up paying dues If you don't ever bring me no bad news No bad news, no bad news, no bad news, no bad news Don't nobody bring me no bad news Cause I'll make you an awful job that you cannot refuse Don't nobody bring me no bad news talking to me don't come crying the blues don't nobody bring me no bad news if you're gonna bring me something bring me something i can use don't nobody bring me no bad news 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 don't nobody bring me no bad news because i'll make you an awful child that you cannot refuse ted cruz don't you ever bring me no bad news. Wow, over too soon. That was a really good time. Um, yes, the uh, music and lyrics, Charlie Smalls from, of course, The Wiz. Um, the one song that I always remember because it's so damn good. It's one of those songs, ooh, I see a little heart, great. It's one of those songs that you know he, he was like, what would the Wicked Witch of the West be like? And then immediately was like, don't ever bring me no bad news, and I was like, that's that's a character song. Anyway, from my heart to yours, anybody else wake up and immediately read the news and wish they hadn't? That's for you. Um, yeah, this song, weirdly enough, was the first thing I thought of doing for this set, and I think it's sort of like, um, I guess all these songs are kind of, it's interesting, there's like a theme of prayer and devotion, but like the different ways we pray, like please don't send me any more bad stuff, or please send me all the good stuff, or whatever. 
Um, different ways of praying for things. That'll come back in the set with the chance. Just wait. If you are just tuning in, my name is Rebecca Hart. This is The Chrysalis, a weekly show on different themes at 4 p.m. on Sundays. I will also post this on YouTube and Instagram later. The uh, mailing list is RebeccaHart.net. I send a little love note on the theme every week and the tip jars there. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll, just, I'll just play it. We'll, we'll get there to some kind of explanation. It doesn't hurt me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you wanna feel? How it feels, yeah, yeah, yo. Do you wanna know, know that it doesn't hurt me, yeah, yeah, yo. Do you wanna hear about the deal I'm making, yo? See you. Sam knows that song and likes it. Very cool. Terry, I think you're right. Um, no bad news is probably the president's policy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Ernesto. Nice to um, see you all. Welcome to the 36th episode of The Chrysalis, which is already going too fast, as is its wont. That was, of course, Kate Bush running up that hill from the Hounds of Love album, which one of my cousins bought me on vinyl lo these many years ago as a Christmas present, and it terrified me, and then I loved it so much. Hi, Greg. I hope you saw that one um, because I feel like I feel like that's a song you like. Anyway, don't we all sort of feel like that? Like, it hasn't there been times this year where it was like, you know what, God, just put me in. You know, like, let me just get in the driver's seat for a second. I know how to fix it. <laughs> just let me do something. And, um, of course, that is really never how it works. Um, so if you're just joining me, I started out this show saying this is a really interesting show for me because I am in the middle of day two of a two-day Bhakti Yoga and Devotional Chanting and Sacred Music Workshop. Um, I sang all morning. If anybody else has ever done kirtan singing, it's delightful call and response, um, sacred prayers in Sanskrit and English. Um, if you've ever done it, you know that it is um, liable to put you in all kinds of ecstatic states and maybe sometimes induce bursts of weeping you didn't expect. I'm a little bit exhausted, but it's great. But it's great. 
Um, anyway, so I thought, I suddenly realized in the middle of the workshop, um, I kind of do a bhakti yoga immersion every week with you guys. So um, on that note, yes, we will chat, sort of. Um, but I also wanted to share a poem because um, the leaders of the workshop have been, have been reading poetry to us also, and I really enjoyed it. And I, uh, I wrote to my friend Mar Marty McConnell, who is a poet based out of Chicago. Marty and I used to perform together a lot. I would play music and sing songs. She would do poems. We would sometimes do things together. I coached, I'm just going to brag for a second, I coached the National Slam teams, both, one, um, both Brooklyn, New York, and Chicago, one year, year I cannot remember, to go to the National Slam Championships. It was really great. I love Marty's poetry, and I find it actually very actable, um, which is one of the reasons I like to read it. And I asked her if she had a poem for the new year, and she sent me this one. It's called Disasterology, How to Survive the Apocalypse. Every day I become the horizon. Don't you? The way the sky eats itself in fire or fog. I want to fold down into a nothing you can't forget. Smoke in the air long after the fire's gone. Molecules next to molecules. We're neighbors. You and I, you and the wind, me and the horizon, where it bends into an envelope. I've said this before, were you listening? The thickness of the air affects how well sound travels. I don't hear very well around corners, though I can tell when a machine has been left on in a room from outside a closed door. I need you to hear this. I turned off the radio because I lost count of the dying. But if you are the sky and I am the sky and nothing but atoms between us, nothing but smoke or the memory of smoke, it's sent in pieces in the air. If distance is a myth and we are neighbors or the same creature with multiple faces breathing the common unspeakable air which has us in pieces, I'm nothing without you. Don't say it's too late to try. Marty McConnell, good poet. Thank you guys for listening. I'm doing a little bit of a shorter set today because I am tired. Um, but um, I'm excited about all of these tunes. And this next one, I'm nervous about some hedging. Um, I'm going to do a very simplified version of a song by Ben Soli who, if you know me and I know you, you know, produced my album, The Magician's Daughter, which is available on Bandcamp and wherever you get your streaming music. Um, we spent a week together in a freezing cold winter in his home studio and made the basics for what became my album, The Magician's Daughter. Um, we talked a lot about a lot of stuff, um, about a lot of personal stuff. Um, it was an album largely about grief and, uh, and recovery and looking back and wondering what you could have done better and about death and changing things. Anyway, this song is not from that album. <laughs> this song is a song by Ben um, that I fell in love with. It's called Letting Go. And uh, for those of us who might be in the recovery community um, or who are working on letting go of something for the new year, yes, Leo, excellent album. Uh, this song to me could be like the recovery anthem and I'm going to mess it up for you right now. Um, but it means a lot to me, so. Hopefully the guitar is good and you can hear it. It's a long, hard road through a rough edged land to the softest part of the land. And it's light with stones tangled in regrets that are just too hard to forget. There are rusty signs overlooked on the way to the heart of a troubled man. And you can lose yourself in the deep muddy ruts worn through by the pride of a man. Worn through by the pride of a man. But letting to the weight of a man 
And she once ran free with the wind in her hair, breathing hard for the love of a man. Breathing hard for the love of a man. He won't let her be, she won't let him rest till he learns how to forgive and let her go. Let her go and let her go. Forgiveness is a falling leaf in the changing of the years as it settles down to the Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Anyway, yeah, Ben Soli. Leo, it just occurred to me that you meant my album is good. <laughs> Thank you. But that album by Ben Soli is also very beautiful. Um, I will post the video because you really just got to hear the cello. Anyway, my name is Rebecca Hart. Thank you for um, tuning in, whether for the first time or all the time. Every Sunday at four, I do this set. It's called The Chrysalis. It's songs and stories and texts on a variety of themes. This is new for the new year. May it be new. May we let go of the things that we need to let go with forgiveness and grace. May we expand to invite new stuff. May we tip the artist in her tip jar. Um, namaste. Anyway, I have one more uh, song to play for you. I'm really excited about this song also um, because of course one of the things uh, about embracing the new year is to remember this too shall pass about everything. We are always in motion. We are never stuck anywhere. Whether we like it or not, everything is still moving right along. So this is a song that we all probably know. You can sing with me or at the end we're going to fold in a little bit of kirtan because in case you're just joining us, I am doing this set in the middle of a two-day um, bhakti yoga kirtan devotional <laughs> chanting workshop. <laughs> this is just crazy. Um, I'm so happy to be here though and missing the afternoon session. Uh, so mm, moving right along in search of good times and good news with good friends you can't lose. This could become a habit. Opportunity knocks once, let's reach out and grab it Together we'll nab it, we'll hitchhike bus or yellow cabot Cabot? Moving right along, footloose and fancy free Getting there is half the fun, come share it with me Moving right along, we'll learn to share the load We don't need a map to keep this show on the road birds of a feather and we're in this together and we know where we're going movie stars with flashy cars and lights with the top down we're storming the big town yes storm is right should it be snowing well it is january by now moving right along do i see signs of men yeah welcome on the same post that says come back again moving right along for the loose and fancy free time is it ready for me okay all you purists I know I skipped a bunch in the middle but it's a cabaret this is the part where you come in so we're gonna do a little call and response I'm gonna start you can echo and here's the part it goes moving right along now you moving right along or you can go down like this moving right along now you moving right along let's keep it going Moving right along Moving right along Keep it going, sing it with me Moving right along What are we doing in 2021? We're moving right along Let's have one more time Moving right along Moving right along And everybody goes Oh
Happy New Year. Namaste, everybody. See you next week. <laughs>